Okay, so today's workout I'm doing with you is my 15 minute thighs and booty. We are gonna be burning off excess of body fat. We are gonna be toning those thighs, toning the booty, toning around the hips. You are gonna love it. This is amazing also if you are a typical pear-shaped body. Now, what you will need to do, make sure you've done a warm up. If you haven't hit the pause button now, march on the spot for a minute, then all the exercises we are doing today are on the floor. So if you haven't got a mat, then why not use a towel? And then I need you to come down onto the floor and we are ready to start start toning and getting that lower body in perfect shape. So for the first move, you want to be lying down on the floor. You want to be lying on your side. You're going to have one arm bent so supporting the head and then the other hand have in front for balance. And as you can see here, we're just going to be lifting that top leg and lowering it back down. So let's go for doing 10 of these. So we lift it up and then lower. Lift that up and then lower. And if you're new here, I always just think it's a good idea so you know who is teaching you. So me in this video, here I am as your trainer with over 25 years experience. So that's good. Right, next exercise now. We're going to do these tiny circles. So I want you to keep that leg nice and high for me. Let's go straight into it. You're just doing 10 reps on this one. Now, keep those tummy muscles tight so it's tiny, tiny circles. All right, now next move, you can rest the leg or you can go straight into it. We're just going to draw it so the thigh comes down towards the ground. So as if you're bringing your knee down to the floor, just go for doing 10 reps. That's good. So working one set on one leg, then we're going to change to the other. Draw that down. And this is really good today. We're going to be really toning through the bottom, slimming down through the inner and outer thighs. So your next move, this time now, you're going to draw that leg in front so it's as if you're going to kick straight out in front and then draw that back while you're doing this it's really important engage those core tummy muscles so keep your tummy really tight as you kick that leg in front so by now you will really be feeling that through the booty it is incredible but trust me this is how these exercises work so we are really challenging these muscles today it and then drawing that back all right so your next move this time now we're going to do so it's a bit like if you imagine you're going to be riding a bicycle we're going to go five in one direction so you kind of bend the leg and take it back round. So just picture riding a bike that's good and after you've done five then I want you simply just to reverse that so you then this time now you're just going to hold bring it in front and then take that behind just for five reps so it will be feeling tough now but as your trainer, I'm going to be super kind to you and I'm going to let you rest that top leg now. And let's work that underneath leg. So we're going to go for toning through the inner thigh. So all I want you to do now is you are just going to be isolating. So we're just going to lift that bottom leg and just squeeze it up. We're just doing 20 reps here. So this is now working through the adductor. And you want to try and avoid bringing that leg down to the ground. Just keep pulsing tiny, tiny little lifts for me. Just 20 reps. That's good, doing really well. And as said, today is all about toning through your legs, a booty and thighs. So the next exercise, this time have your knees in front. So they're just slightly under the line of your hips. So your legs are bent, heels together. And you're just going to lift that top leg up and then lower it back down. So imagine you're trying to get the knees apart. We're just doing 20 reps. And where we're focusing mainly on now is working through your abductor and still working through the bottom. We're doing like a lateral move, focusing on that top leg good and even though today you are not going to be hot and sweaty we are still burning fat and the reason being is I am going to be toning or we are toning your major muscle group so let's just quickly change position now this one um, you can see here all we're going to do is bend that leg in front and bend it behind so you keep the leg bent keep the tummy tight bottom legs bent as well and just draw that in front because how these exercises are fat burning is the more active muscle tissue you have which is what we're doing we're creating active muscle tissue by toning then the higher your metabolic rate is and that's why this is such an essential part of training not only to sculpt and shape your body not only to keep your bones strong but also it's really good if you want to control weight or lose weight to do these sort of exercises all right next one coming up this time now we're going to do i love this move by the way we're just going to lift the leg up bend and straighten so you want both legs on top of each other and now we're going to lift the leg up bend and then extend you're doing 10 reps with this one and within these workouts what i do is we do so many 
many different ranges of motion. That's where we're going to be targeting your leg, your bottom, your thighs from every single direction. And also because we're working your full range, we're not going to bulk them up. So we're really lengthening, toning and sculpting. Okay, so next exercise now, this time, this is a toughie, but we're nearly done on these. You're going to have your leg out to about 45 degree angle, so just extend it out, foot flex, and now lift that up, and then lower, so lift it up. It's really important with this one, toes are pointing forwards, you're just doing 10 reps, and you will really feel this through the bottom now, and again, still through that thigh, keeping that going, you'll feel that burn, but remember that's because it's challenging you, and it's working. Alright, so your next exercise, we're going to come back to or not back to we're going to come into a bridge position so I want you to lie on your back have your knees bent heels are on the floor lift your toes slightly up if you can for me and then what that does that's going to really work through the bottom and just drive your hips up as high as you can you're just doing 20 reps okay that's good so this one here is now really focusing on working through the bottom you can also really work your abs here as well if you um, make sure you keep your belly button really tight to your spine for me doing really well driving them up as high as you can. That's really important. And keep all the weight through your heels. So that's why I've suggested you keep your toes slightly off the ground and push it up. Make sure you're not pushing too much through the arms. It's coming all through the hips and through the bottom. Squeezing it up and back. All right, so your next move coming up. This time I need you to still be lying on your back, but take your legs directly above you. Have your legs straight. And we're just going to open and close. We're doing 20 reps. So what you're doing here, take the legs out as wide as they'll go, then draw them back up to the center. We are now primarily working through your abductor and your adductor, which is your inner and outer thigh. Um, so this is where this is really amazing to tone and lengthen through these legs. And the great thing is here, we are still using weights, but what we're doing is we're using our own body weight. And that's where I feel as a female trainer, it's a really lovely way to kind of build tone and definition, but without like bulking up. So it keeps you long and lean. All right, that's good. So your next move, staying in the same position, this time I need you to bend your knees very slightly have your heels together and with this one now all we're going to do is we're just going to open and close you keep the heels together it's hard to tell with my white trainers but your heels stay together and literally legs are bent and it's if you're trying to separate through the knees so what we're doing we're going back a similar move that we did earlier on but in this position we're working both legs so we're really now working through the abductors through the outer thighs take them out as wide as they can go it feels easy for the first 10 but trust me those last 10 these will really kick in so let's just keep you going. Um, I'll tell you when you're done because you probably can't see the screen because you'll be looking up at the ceiling. So that's it. All right. Now we are going to do the other leg. All right. So you know what's coming. But remember, just keep thinking of all these results. So just roll over onto the other side. It is really important. Do make sure you are doing the other leg. Okay, so let's go for it. We can do this. So lying in a straight line, that underneath arm is bent, your hand is supporting your head and the other arm is bent in front. Again, hand on the floor to support you for balance. And let's get ready. Let's lift that top leg and then lower. You're just going for doing 10 reps. So we lift and lower. So today is doing two things because we are going to be increasing your calorie burn. So this is great, especially if you're a typical pear shape and you store fat and you know you want to tone through your bottom, your hips, or thighs. This is where it's really good. Let's go for doing 10 of those tiny little circles, reaching that round. That's good. So it's a small move here and just really feel where this is working. So this one, you should feel this around the bottom, around the hip area. So your next one, you're going to draw that knee down towards the ground. So you draw it down and push back and draw that down. Okay. And this also, I have, um, it's a different workout, but I also have a four week plan, which is specifically designed if someone is a typical pear shape, because it's all about getting rid of what we call those saddlebags, about trying to lose excess body fat, carrying it in that area. So let's go back now to doing the next exercise, 10 reps. So we're drawing that leg in front. And I make these workouts fun because you actually get to meet a cardio character. So in this particular one, it's Claudia. And Claudia is about to be a bridesmaid and she wants to lose weight from around her hips, her bottom and her thighs. So that's where this four week plan is targeted for her to reach that goal. All right, next exercise this time, let's go for that one where we're doing that bicycle so just imagine you're riding that bicycle we're going to do it in one direction for five 
And within this plan, which is like an ebook with video links, I also talk to you about all the different body shapes. So I think it's important to understand your body. That's it. And let's get ready now. Let's just change that to the opposite direction. So we're just taking that back. So just fill that through the bottom and the thighs are really good. Well done. Okay. All right. So next exercise coming up now, let's go back to doing that inner thigh one. So at least we give that top leg a rest now and let's just get ready to take that up. Okay. So let's just go for lifting. And remember with this one, you're doing 20 reps. So you're lifting that leg up as high as you can. So with this um, plan where you see all those yellow boxes, they're direct of video links. And this is an interesting one because actually in the pear shape one, we do a lot of work on upper body because then that helps balance out a pear, typical pear shape. So next move coming up this time, remember you've got your heels together and you're just trying to separate the knees. So actually it's just one joint you're working here. You're working through that hip joint you're just lifting up to the side and I think it just makes it fun by having a character like you can see how she's got on by week two how she's starting to get results and from that healthy eating plan she's noticed like her skin looks better um, all right so next move now let's come back to doing this one where we're just going to take that leg behind and then draw that in front so key thing here when you're doing this I want you you're just doing 10 reps really focus on keeping those tummy muscles really tight for me that's good and so the benefit here of this one now we're working specifically a little bit more into the bottom especially as you squeeze that behind and as you squeeze it behind I want you to really feel that tight imagine you're pushing back something on there that's good excellent let's just keep that going so you squeeze it back and then coming back all right so your next move my favorite one let's go for this one again so lying in a straight line both legs on top of each other let's get ready to lift that top leg up and then bend that through so we lift it up and back through Okay, that's good. So you lift and then bend. And within the plan, we also talk a lot about nutrition. I think that's so important, especially if you're looking at um, losing weight. It's important we eat the right snacks, right lunches, right dinners, which are all included. So last time of doing this one today in this position. So let's extend those legs slightly out in front. And now we're going to lift and then lower. And also here are a few little before and afters because I know you guys all find these really motivating. So keep sending them in to me. I'm getting so many of them. Um, that's good. So just lift and lower. Squeeze it up and well done. All right. Okay, so we're nearly done today. We've just got three exercises to go. So let's do it. And let's go for doing that bridge one now. So you're lying on your back and I want you to drive those hips up as high as you can for me. Push them up nice and high. Keep the tummy tight. Drive that up through those hips. And it's important, get them up as high as you can each time. Make sure you're pushing the weight through the heels. Keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight. So now we're focusing just on working through the bottom. Squeeze that up and then lower. Good, keeping that going, well done. And you will really feel this tomorrow. In fact, you have to let me know in the comments, if you've done this today or whenever you do this, then the next day, come back and tell me where you feel it. Do you feel it more in your bottom or your inner or outer thighs? All right, next exercise, lying on your back. Again, still both legs fully extended. Make sure your heels and um, ankles, knees, hips, everything in line with each other. And we're just gonna take the legs out to the side as wide as you can, then draw that up just for 20 reps. So this one now is working through your inner and outer thighs. That's good, lower it down and back. And it's really funny, when you upload a video on YouTube, it tells me how many words per minute. Oh my goodness, 200 words per minute is my average. So I do apologize, but I think it's important to really teach you while I'm training you. That's what I do when I'm training my one-to-one -one clients. All right, that's good. So take it out to the side and draw that in. Out to the side and in. All right, last exercise today. So now, legs in the same position, but you're just gonna bend them slightly. So you're gonna bend through the knees, but keep those heels together. And your aim is here just to separate the knees as far as you can, but still keep the feet touch, um, so feet engaged, sorry. That's good, taking that out. So this one now, specifically working through the abductor, doing really well. Last few reps coming up today. Let's just keep going. Amazing, we're nearly done. That's good. 
keep thinking of all the benefits. So we have tone through your thighs, your booty, your hips with burnt off body fat and majorly we have increased your calorie burn for at least the next 24 hours. Okay, so that is your workout complete. Now what I am gonna do is do a full lower body stretch with you. So if you want to, you can hit the pause button now and just go and grab some water and then we're gonna come up to standing. So the first stretch we're going to do, let's just stretch through that lower part of the leg, through the calf muscle. So you just take that foot behind and just leaning into that leg in front. The hands are on the bent leg and just feel that stretch. Holding that there. That's good. And the good thing is with stretching after exercising, it just really helps to realign your body. And let's now take that to the opposite leg. So again, just have that heel down. You know, and also it helps prevent too much muscle, muscular soreness the next day, helps prevent injury. It's also really good for your flexibility. Okay, that's good. And I will leave this a full week plan. I will leave all the details to it below in the description box. You can just click on it and you can literally just go and read and find out more about it. All right, let's now take that to a hamstring stretch and just kind of tilt the bottom away and feel that through the back of the hamstring. And don't forget cardio characters, there are so many. I've got bikini workout, I've got a workout for someone if they're going through the menopause, I've got one for students, I've got one for busy moms, I've got one if people are disabled in a wheelchair, there is literally something for everyone. All right, and let's feel that hamstring stretch. And then if you want some more motivation, just head towards my website, look on the before and afters and keep sending them in. I've just got a load more recently, so we are uploading them as we speak to the website okay and the great thing is what I love with these before and afters they are from every single age you know all different backgrounds busy mums single mums students you know people that are exercising for the first time people that have actually never been able to lose weight are for the first time losing weight and I think it's because these workouts are quick and they're doable that's what it is and people are enjoying them that's why I did the cardio characters just makes it fun you've got this character it's all about most people get bored with exercise or they don't they don't see results so for me as a trainer it's about finding you a solution so it's keeping it fun making it doable and the most important thing is making it effective so you see results but then you don't want to stop you want to carry on because you like the exercises all right let's come down now and we're just going to do a nice stretch through the inner thigh just because we've worked this muscle so hard today just holding that there that's good and then what we're going to do, so really just make sure you can feel that, that's on the extended leg, that's where you should be feeling that stretch, and now travel it across, let's take that now to the other side, and I tell you what I have started doing again, back on my website, I've started doing blogs, which is on the right hand corner, as you can see that, vaguely, <laughs> um, so I've got loads of information, so if you want to get some tips on fitness, weight loss, nutrition, just head over to my website, lwrfitness.com, and check out the blogs, all right, so that is all done today, amazing, well done. If you like this, please, please, please share it on Facebook, Pinterest, and also if you've got any questions, then let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget, it's not long now until the 1st of July where I'm gonna be posting you up a workout every single day. We are doing a really fun boot camp style training. But if you did this today, big thumbs up, well done. If you like the workout, give it a thumbs up. If you're not ready, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you back on my channel soon for another workout video.